friend, as I was driving to work, uh, a well-known fact, you know, was just brought to my mind, and I, I just wanted to touch on it uh, briefly. <clears throat> what we're witnessing as a human race is the same battle that was at the very beginning in the story of Adam and Eve. And you know, scientists and <clears throat> atheists, they laugh at the idea, at the concept that Adam and Eve, they, they, they laugh at that concept. And you know, it's not a concept. It is what happened. That one man and one woman, made by God, planted, can I say that, in the garden of Eden, produced, increased, and had a family, and had many, many, many children. So, friend, let me say this. A farmer will plant a seed and many seeds. A farmer, friend, will plant many seeds, many seeds to produce a harvest. So why is it so mysterious that God would make a man after his own image and make the woman from the man So that's God's order. A man, a woman, they are one of each other. They can produce another human being. They can have children. But that's not the point I'm trying to get at here. Here's the point. This is God's, this is God's story. This, this is, you and I were created by God. And God's enemy, Satan, came along and messed with God's property. You know as well as I, if you made something, let's say you were a painter or one who builds cabinets or builds homes, and you had an arch enemy, and that enemy came along and messed up your artwork, messed up your cabinetry, messed up your construction site, uh, you know, came and demolished framework in homes, you would have to look for a way to put an end once and for all to your enemy. And that's what God's doing. You know, God is allowing humanity to continue. And he is allowing each individual person to decide, do I want to be part of God's story? Do I want to be part of God's plan? Or do I want to be part of the rebellion? Do I want to be an enemy of God? It's real simple. 
you know, I, I get people that make comments on my videos and, and it, it truly breaks my heart that these people have such a hatred for God. And truly, it's not them. It's not them. It's the devil that's in them. You know, if you have the Holy Spirit in you, you're going to have the love, the joy, the peace, the long-suffering, the meekness, the kindness, the gentleness, self-control. You're going to have the attributes of God in you. But if you do not have the Holy Spirit in you, and you have bought into the ways of the evil one, then you're going to have the attributes of Satan. You're going to have hatred and envy and jealousy and, um, oh, good gracious. I don't even want to list all of the, the uh, evilness and, and, and the things of the wicked one. We know it's the murders. Uh, oh, my goodness. Just things that we're seeing on this earth today is what's, it, in other words, what we see happening today in this whole world, the evilness that's rising, we're seeing the kingdom of Satan. We're seeing the kingdom of Satan growing and spreading around the whole world. You know, like the little song, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Well, friend, that song was not inspired by the devil. The thief comes, and, and here, this is it in a nutshell, so to speak. Jesus put it plain and simple. He said, the thief has come, and he comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. See, anybody can steal things and kill things and destroy. Only one, only one can give life, and that's the Creator. Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And friend, you are either going to be on the team of God or the team of the devil. That is the bottom line. And there are two who head up those two teams. You have Jesus, the Christ, the Anointed One, the Savior, and the Creator. And you have Lucifer, Satan, the Devil, the Evil One, the Wicked One, the Father of Lies. That's the two. You can throw different names out. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can list a whole bunch of religious uh, organizations that, that claim to know God. And then, of course, you got a whole, you know, list. But here's the thing. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the only person that was born into this world that split time in half. I'm telling you, when, brother, let me tell you, when Jesus Christ was born, it split time in half. It is counted before Christ and after Christ. No other person ever born was able to split time in half. Now, friend, you can claim to be an atheist if you want. And you do it at your own peril. You can look at the stars, you can look at the moon, you can look at the sun, you can look at all of God's creation and still claim 
and still claim to be an atheist. And I'm going to say something right now you won't like, but friend, you listen, if you claim to be an atheist, you need to go stand in front of a mirror somewhere and you need to look at yourself because if you die being an atheist, the person you're looking at in that mirror is the one and the only one you will ever be able to blame when you open your eyes in hell. You won't be able to blame me or your parents or anyone. You won't be able to blame the government for friend, you make your own choice. The Bible plainly says, choose you this day whom you will serve. You choose today. When you wake up and I wake up, you choose whether or not you're going to serve God or whether or not you're going to serve Satan. Now, friend, let me tell you this. My videos are done for the main purpose to point people to Jesus Christ and to remind us of the truths of God's Word. And friend, I am telling you, the only hope this world has is in Jesus Christ. And this world is winding up. The kingdoms of this world Satan is being given the, the okay, so to speak, to have his, have his way with this world, as the Bible prophesied. Satan has great wrath he is bringing on this earth. The question is, are you going to remain in the kingdom of Satan? Or are you going to become wise and accept the fact that staring you in the face that there is a God and God is the creator of all the universe and God sent his son to save you from your sin that your name can be written in the Lamb's book of life that you might have life and have it more abundantly friend that's it there's two kingdoms that's the bottom line there's a kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. And even when Jesus walked this earth, the devil tried to get Jesus to bow and accept him and accept his kingdom. And Jesus took care of that. So friend, what's it going to be? Are you in the kingdom of God? Or are you in the kingdom of Satan? That's the choice. Are you in the kingdom of God or the kingdom of Satan? God bless you, my friend. Choose you this day whom you will serve. God bless you.